Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's How To's. In this video, I'll be showing you how to fix Mobile View on the Wix website. But before we start, hurry up and check out the software just under this video. So let's get started. In this case, you might be wondering how do you actually fix your Mobile View here in your Wix website. Well, fixing it is quite easy. So the first thing you want to do here is you want to open up your browser here, go to Wix.com, log in into your account, and access your website. In this case, let's go ahead and click on the design site at the top right of your screen, either in the home or setup page here. In this case, what we need to do is we need to access a few things here. So the great thing about Wix here is uh, your mobile website actually, or in this case, they automatically create your mobile website, which in this case, typically some of the design would look good automatically on your website. But in some cases, if you view it uh, on your mobile device, if for example, you visit your website and you haven't touched the mobile version yet, and you notice some elements or some details doesn't look good. So in this case, what we need to do is we need to switch over to the mobile view of our website. So typically at the top left, you should be able to see the page section here. But you also have the option for the desktop icon and the mobile icon here, which in this case, either clicking off the two views here changes your current view of your website. So if you click on the mobile view here, this will actually change your current view into your mobile version, which in this case, you'll have the option to basically edit your mobile version. Now, by the way, if you do see the mobile view is off option here, you might want to enable it. So let's go ahead and click on the click here link here, and you want to basically enable the enable mobile friendly option. Once I've done that, click on close and you should be good. Now, in this case, the great thing about the mobile view or with Wix generally is whatever changes you make on your mobile view here does not affect your website view or your desktop view here, which in this case, like for example, if I'm going to change the actual uh, size for a specific section here. So let me just give you an example. Maybe I want to basically hide. I want to hide the about section here. So let's go ahead and click on that section. Click on the hide element option here. Now, in this case, whenever we go back into desktop, the about section should still be available. As you can see, it's still visible here. It's just hidden on our mobile view here. Now, if you want to restore that, you could go to the left side here, click on hidden on mobile, and basically click on the about section. So in this case, you could go ahead and click on the show button here, and that will now be shown on your website. Now, in this case, if you change a few things, like for example, if you change the font size here, so if you click on the actual text, you have the option to decrease the font here or even increase the font itself if you want to. So if you want to increase it, click on the plus, uh, decrease it, click on the minus here. Now, if you want, add, want to access the settings here, you can change the color, the font size itself. If you want to enable vertical text, the alignment here, and all of those things. But yeah, so again, what changes you make on your mobile view here does not affect your desktop. But any changes you create on your desktop here, as long as you haven't touched it on the mobile view, will be reflected on the mobile view. So keep that in mind. But if you've already changed it on your mobile view, it will no longer uh, basically apply the changes from your desktop into your mobile view here. So yeah, as long as you haven't touched a specific element here, it will still reflect the changes from desktop to mobile view. But then again, I'm just repeating this. If you've touched the element already on the mobile view, it will no longer inherit the design that you've made on your desktop. So if you want to apply those changes, you need to do it manually. But in this case, that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.